Is it the truth that you'll be living tonight? We should take a walk then a swim in the sea That would mean everything, yeah, everything to me Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, if you hear, Abe is in his swing right now, so you're probably gonna hear it going back and forth. Um, I just filmed my birth story, and I said the same thing in that video, that I'm sitting down and I'm filming today. I know it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm trying to just kind of get over the idea of having to put up a perfect video without interruptions, without sound stuff, because it's just not the reality of my life right now. And I care more about getting content up for you guys than making it absolutely perfect and stressing myself out and then not getting any content up at all, you know? Let's talk about how it has been postpartum for me this time around. If you guys are new to my channel, I have struggled with postpartum depression through all of my pregnancies um, in some facet, but they have gotten, it's gotten worse with each pregnancy, with each postpartum period. And so this time around with Abe, it has not really been any different. Now, I've shared in the past, on past videos, that I have been on Prozac for a couple years now, a few years now, and I am still on Prozac right now. However, um, even though being on Prozac, I still am experiencing postpartum depression this time around. Now, if I wasn't on any kind of medication, I do think that it would be even worse, for sure, so I'm thankful to be on something. Um, but I am definitely experiencing postpartum depression this time around. This is the main reason why I haven't really done a ton of content on my channel. With all of my babies, I feel like it's taken me a couple months to get adjusted into some type of new normal. And with that, I found that adjustment and change is really hard for me to cope with. I remember sharing with you guys when we moved into this house that that was a huge change for me. It was very difficult for me to adjust to being in a new house and finding a new rhythm and a new normal. It just, adjustment is very difficult for me. And so I think that with the culmination of not sleeping at night and having a new baby and hormones, I think all of that together just makes a really bad combination for me. It's just a nasty cocktail for me uh, when I have just had a new baby. So that has been the main reason why I haven't had a ton of content on my channel. Now I'm under contract with The Good and the Beautiful, so I've had The Good and the Beautiful videos up, searchable content for them um, that I've done because I work for them. But as far as just extra content that I enjoy putting together just as a hobby and connecting with you guys, it's been very hard for me. So postpartum for me, I've realized has been just feeling very overwhelmed. I can build things up in my mind and they're just so much bigger and scarier than what they are in real life. And so in trying to work through postpartum and trying to have a healthy mindset on things, I'm kind of forcing myself to do the things that don't feel comfortable for me right now because I know that that's the way that I'm gonna get into a new normal is by making myself do normal things that I know I enjoy and that bring me joy, um, but just feel scary and uncomfortable right now because of hormones and postpartum stuff. So that has been like the biggest thing for me is I've just felt very overwhelmed this postpartum. I definitely struggle with irritability with my hormones. Um, I don't know what exactly that is, but I deal with it during pregnancy and then I also deal with it postpartum. So I have had in my mindset just this thought, thought of gentleness um, that I've been trying to meditate on and trying to just come to the Lord and ask for every day because I know that if we come before him and we ask for these things, he is faithful to provide them for us, just like the Bible says. So I'm standing on that promise and I'm asking him for gentleness. I'm asking him for patience. All of these supernatural things that for me at this season of my life, they feel unattainable to me. So I've been really just trying to focus on God and on his word to fill me up because I know in my own strength and in my own power, your girl is empty. I am empty and I need him to fill me. So as far as postpartum hormones and things go and my experience this time around, I've had some really dark days. Um, I've had some good days too. 
I'm getting into the habit now of making my bed every day, of trying to maintain the house to the best that I can um, because I feel better when my house is clean. My mental state is better when my house is clean. But you know, like the catch is that it's not possible for my house to be clean all the time because I do have kids at home, we do homeschool. I am not sleeping at nighttime very well still because of Abe waking up and nursing. So I have to reach a point of, I can do what I can do and I'll do what makes me feel better, but I also have to ask for help and I also have to um, accept what is and be in the word for all the things that can't be the way that I want them to be. I have to come before God for those things too. So things like our homeschooling routine and dinner and just those, those things that would be a max priority thing for me normally have kind of just, I'm accepting that we're doing bare bones for school right now and I'm just telling myself that it's the holidays and that's okay because other people are too and this is 2020 so a lot of people have not done a ton of school and I'm just telling myself that. Um, and also dinner time, we're doing easy stuff. We're doing breakfast for dinner. I'm making a big, huge thing of chili and we're eating it for a couple days because then I don't have to cook. I'm trying to just be kind <laughs> to myself and, and just do what I can do as we get through this so that mentally and emotionally we're okay. Um, and then the other things will follow once all of this stuff, you know, gets to a point where I feel good enough and I feel well enough to be able to then, you know, conquer all the other things. Postpartum recovery for me, um, as far as physically goes, went really well. It was pretty normal compared to my other postpartum recoveries. Uh, I did bleed a little longer than I did in past pregnancy, um, postpartum times, but I don't know if that's just because, you know, the more kids you have, the less able you are to just lay down all the time so maybe it just took my body a little bit longer I still have a lot of weight to lose a lot in my mindset I've got about 30 pounds that I want to lose um, from this pregnancy I really did not pace myself <laughs> at all this pregnancy I kind of ate whatever I wanted to eat after I could eat food you know which I'm happy about whatever um, but it's the holidays now I love cookies I love the holidays and 2020 has just been a hell of a year no matter what so I'm just giving myself grace on this one, you guys. This is the theme of this postpartum has just been grace. Grace because I know that God has it covered and he's sovereign and he will work amidst all of my flaws. So if you hear one thing from this video, that's take that from this video, that he is sovereign and he is good. And even in times when your girl is falling apart, his hands are covering me and I'm so thankful for that. I am so, so thankful for a God that just covers us and just gives grace upon grace in our hardest, hardest times. All that to say, I'm going to eat cookies this, <laughs> this Christmas and cheesy potatoes and anything that I want. And next year will be the year where I am Lord willing, focusing a little bit more on getting myself back, getting myself back to a better place, which was my goal for last year, but then I had a baby. So next year, next year, right? I hope that you guys are all enjoying the holidays or this winter time with your family, wherever you're at in the world. Some of you guys have nice warm weather in the, at Christmas time. We do not, it is snowing. It's snowing right now as I speak in Michigan. Um, so wherever you're at, I hope that you are just enjoying this time with your family and that you're healthy and well in the midst of all of the chaos that has been 2020. Let's end this year out on a high note and just thanking God for his constant provision no matter what our season looks like. Thank you again for watching. I love you all so much and I appreciate the um, community and the connection and the relationships that I have with you guys. I hope that you hear me and you know that. I am praying about possibly coming back to Instagram at some point because I love to connect and I feel like especially during these times of life, community is really important and connecting is important. So I'm praying about possibly coming back to Instagram because Lord knows Facebook is a hot mess right now. It is a, 
a real big mess right now uh, on Facebook with all the things happening in our world. So I'm thinking about it and praying about it. I love you guys so much. Once again, thank you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way